welcoming John Grayson here to the Cinema Politica screening of some of his short works and excerpts of some of his longer works. John, welcome. Great to be here. So tell us how you chose a lot of these films you want to show tonight. Well, a lot of it was Tom Waugh who did the choosing. Um, Tom's been a close friend for many years and knows the work well. So he, he pitched the idea to Ezra and I, Ezra of Cinema Politica and I, the idea of linking the South African work, much of which deals with prisons, um, and the uh, Palestine work, uh, which is more recent from the past four years, five years. So it was, a, it was interesting. I've been become very involved in the Queers Against Israeli Apartheid group. And so, of course, those, that dialogue between South African apartheid then, Israeli apartheid now, makes the connection very dynamic. Was That's that the hope. That's the hope. Was there anything that you look back at that you'd forgotten, that struck you, that you said, that's strange, I, I didn't remember that, or I remembered it differently when you're looking back at this work? It's work that goes back, I think the earliest piece is from 85, and so it was a, a short film, the first short film I ever made, about Simon Nakodi, who was the South African gay activist. And... One of the things that, of course, becomes fascinating is how we, we look through our eyes today at that discourse 25 years ago, 26 years ago. How did that happen? Um, and how relevant it is in terms of debates around sexuality, debates around queer politics, debates around uh, the occupation in the Middle East today. Um, was there a, ever a film that you made where you saw an immediate reaction to it that, that something changed as a direct result that was very heartening or was you were like wow this movie really had an impact right away well when I made Hey Elton uh, last year calling on Elton John to cancel his concert in Tel Aviv he saw it and he cancelled the concert no, he didn't. But oh, I wish. I, it was, was like true. you were. Oh, you were believing me. I yeah, love for that. A second, I was no, the the idea with those <laughs> as as much as Hey Elton or the new Justin Bieber video calls on these artists, it addresses them in the first person, asking them to cancel their concerts in Tel Aviv, honoring the Palestinian boycott. The, the the reality is it's not for Elton, it's not for Justin, it's for their fans. And it's trying to contribute to a dialogue, raise consciousness among a, a music community who'd rather look the other way and just dance. But thinking about um, how the boycott, the Palestinian boycott call, how we can use humor and music to, to spread that message. So, no, I haven't gotten Elton to... Uh, cancel yet or justin but here's hoping well is is the bieber one up on youtube the the what sadly we haven't quite reached the number of hits that bieber bieber's official baby song has done but our version of baby which is actually called boycott or bieber bds bieber i guess we called it which stands for boycott divestment sanctions um it's tracking pre, it's tracking in the thousands it's doing pretty well and it is getting out there virally so seeing seeing an audience take off in youtube in a matter of weeks is always exciting um right now of course egypt uh, has successfully overthrown their dictator, uh, Libya, looks on the way to doing that. Although there, it's a lot messier there. Uh, what are your hopes for the region, and what you, what's your sense of what's going on there? Well, there, the of course, in uh, you know, we're all on fire and so excited and glued to. I'm watching Al Jazeera a lot because it's so the reporting's so excellent. Um, so, of course, the hopes for the region are extraordinary. The hopes for Palestine in particular, it's very exciting because there's, you know, movement on the ground. The Palestinian Authority has lost so much credibility. So it looks like big change, big political change is happening within Palestinian society. And it's a people's movement. And that's very much part of where boycott, divestment, sanctions movement, what we're trying to do globally, is connected to. So it's it's exciting times to be doing this work, making this work. and. Really, it's an honor to be part of Cinema Politica today in dialogue with people here in Montreal thinking about those issues. Thanks for being here, John. Thank you. See you in there. See you in there.